Well, good morning, everybody. And guess what today is? Today is surgery day. It's currently like maybe five o'clock in the morning. I have to be at the hospital at 6.15. The prayer and the hope is that I am able to come home today because they're able to do everything laparoscopically. But we're gonna go ahead and get this day shapopping get this old uterus out so that we can just be on the road to recovery and we ain't got to do this no more all right let's do that i'm here i'm ready now to take my baby on over here to get this surgery over and done what am i nervous yes am i stressed a little so what i did last night i prayed a powerful prayer over her i know she don't want to stay at the hospital tonight so that was my prayer so we can come on back home you good getting emotional now so yeah we appreciate y'all prayers and support and i will keep you guys updated throughout the day all right fam we in the whip heading on to the hospital see mama back there in in in, in, the, in the cut riding yeah. <laughs> so i have to have search for her to ride with us right <laughs> all right see you when we get there Alright fam, so we just done arrived at the hospital. We going on in. You, you still ready? No, but it is what it is. Alright. Come too far now. And it got her all set up. So how you feel now? Okay. Just ready to get it over. You nervous? I'm nervous. Okay, so what time? Uh, what time they start? At eight. I said I go back at seven thirty. Yeah, it's seven fifteen now. Yeah. As we head back into the party for her part, hope and our fears. Make sure you hand over to her. Amen. Make your decisions. Keep her safe. Yes. Amen. Amen. As y'all can see, Lillette has gone into surgery. So now we wait. Again, like I told y'all, we got at least a minimum of five hours. See you in five hours. All right, so I just got an update. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes so far, but they said she is doing good. So once they call us back, we'll give you another update. All right, fam, the wind didn't want me to be great, so I decided to go ahead and voice this part over. The doctor actually came out and gave me an update to let me know that he actually had to do a C-section cut on the net because the fibroids were so big they couldn't come through the liposcopic uh, incision that he made in her stomach. But now he's trying to determine if she can come home or not, so we are still praying that she's able to come home. So that we'll see. So coming back here, she's doing excellent. Awesome. How was she doing better than patients who had left? Oh wow. Yeah, she a trooper. Oh yes, yeah, she is. Yeah. And we're all the way down to the end of the road. Hey. She's doing excellent. Yeah, you made it to the other side. How you feel? Yeah, the nurse told us that you did better than people who get left. So it felt like a blink of the eye. One of you blink your eyes and you was back up. All right, now. You feel high? No, actually, no. You look sleepy. I'm tired. Do you want something to drink other than the ice chips? Um, yeah. I got water, apple juice. Strawberry apple juice. Okay. How are you feeling? Doing great. I did to get cut, but I feel pretty good. Um, you know, they said that I'm doing way better than people that haven't been through way less. Less, yeah. So they're not even trying to keep me. So, which is a good thing. Yeah, as long as I can get up and move around. Yeah, I think I have to before I leave. But I feel okay. I'm hungry. 
The sounds in here drive me crazy. Yeah. You sound like a broke casino. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they are winning. Yeah. All right, so the nurse just got her up to go and uh, try to take a pee pee. And uh, we should be leaving within the next half hour to an hour. Um, she's gonna give her some more medicine. Um, but when she stood up, she was like, I can tell I've been cut, but my baby a trooper. And I know that the healing is gonna be quick, but thank God that it's over with. She said the people was excellent in the uh, operating room. The nurse is excellent. That's, that's here, the one that walked us back. So that's the one that's gonna take her to the bathroom now. All right, and so we'll see you again in the car and we're at home. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the surgery took a total about two and a half hours um, to complete. Um, the nurse is um, getting her all dressed, so I'm in the car now so I can go ahead and pull around the roundabout so they can go and wheel her out and we can go home. So thank God for that, that we may have to stay at this hospital. Thank you so much. You take care. All right. All right now. Got my baby. I'm going to take her home now. I'm back. Yeah. As she is ever. That's, that's cool. You just got out of surgery, Mike. Well, y'all, it has been probably about two hours. Not even two hours since I've been home. The soreness is real. Anything unbearable? No. Not, not at this moment. But soreness, it's on the real. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I have a motion sickness patch because I am prone to be motion sick. So they said most people to get motion sick get sick after a general anesthesia. So they gave me that as a precaution so that they didn't want me to get sick because that's just too much abdominal muscle use going on right there. But I'm just grateful to be home. Definitely not out of the pain woods yet, but I'm definitely trying to kick the opioid can all the way down the street hey all right we got the wedge in uh, how it feel it's hard to bring any comfort yes definitely but that's good because it, you it makes it so that your, your abdomen isn't stretched out as far so because you know hard stuff brings comfort but you gotta wait for six weeks for that though <laughs> the camera off. with that said fam i have to run to target to fill the medicine i hate that i have to leave her here by herself for the brief time that i'm gone so i don't know if i'm gonna go drop off the prescription come back then once it's filled go back again i don't know if that'll be a shorter time but we'll figure it out Never